At the moment, some of my mornings look like this, and then some of them look like this. And this is mainly due to being hit with IBS symptoms a couple of weeks ago, which have thrown my world upside down. And this is why morning routine for me now is so important to try and put myself in the best position possible. So the first thing I'll get in is some D, I some vitamin D, keeping it PG. And then I'll usually just stare into the abyss for a little bit thinking about life or how a pigeon's probably just shit on my car. The next thing that I usually do, and this is where things have changed because as a coffee addict, I've had to change this to now move to peppermint tea in order for it to help my bowels a little bit more in the morning. But before I do any of this, there's a few things to do the night before. If there's one thing that you probably notice from my morning routine is that I don't shower. And I'm not an absolute peasant and that's where the prep starts the night before. Getting a bit scrub a dub dub, doing my hair and just making sure that I'm tip top for the morning. And then what I'll usually do next is to start laying stuff out for the day after. So get my gym clothes ready once I finish my power hour. So that I'm ready to roll as soon as we go and it creates less resistance to habits in the morning. The other thing that I've still been doing is the first thing in the morning is weighing myself. I've actually dropped a couple of pounds since the last time we chat, so things looking good. So the next thing that I'll do is we move morning supplementation. So at the moment I'm just taking multivitamin, taking some fish oils, I'm taking some magnesium, and I'm taking some biotin. I'll also try and chug it down with at least 600 ml of water in the morning just to get some fluids in there because I'm terrible at drinking in the day. As I mentioned with the green tea, one of the big things that I've been trying to do in the morning is get my gut in the right place. So I've just started taking these Alpharex pre-probiotics. So I started taking these my second day, but I've heard some good things about these, so here we go. The next big one for me is reading. This is something I've been doing for probably about two or three years now. And if you look back on probably my old morning routine YouTube video, it's very similar. At the moment, I'm reading a book called Drive, and it's about surprising truth about what motivates us. And this is important to what I'm talking about today because a big part of this book, I want to give you a book review, is about the carrot and the stick motivation and how we're all looking for that big Super Bowl win, the big endorphin release. And instead, we can have lots of little wins along the way. I referenced a quote from one of my friends in one of the other YouTube videos about getting the Lamborghini is exactly the same as getting the Ford courses for some people and how that endorphin release is still the same. Exactly the same as when you lose weight, you can celebrate every pound. The, having these morning routines, these are little wins in the process. And there's another great quote that I saw on the Nick Bear podcast the other day about how the man who enjoys walking will walk further than the man who enjoys the destination. And that's what these morning routines are about, They're just setting up your day to win and make you feel better. And it doesn't have to be super hard. It doesn't have to be crazy. Like you see some nuts morning routines which are really difficult to stick to. And that's why I prefer to have this hour where it's simple, it's easy, makes you feel good. And I can repeat it. Alexa, play jazz music. Jazz UK from Spotify. I don't always do this because Lucy's usually come down and clean everything up, but she usually wakes up a little bit later than I do. And again, you don't have to wake up at 6, 6.15 to have a good morning routine. You don't have to, if you're a 7, 8 a.m. person, deploy, get up at 6 a.m. straight away. One of the things that I did was, when I was getting up at like 7, half 7, was slowly chunk it. So take 15 minutes of full time, so I was going, or getting up at 7 a.m. I then get up at 6.45, and then a couple of weeks later, 6.30. Because when you're in a natural rhythm of sleep, it's difficult to just chunk that much time off, so you don't have to do everything straight away. You don't have to look at some morning, people's morning routines and do everything in there, or switch the times up like that. Same with my morning routine, you don't have to copy it, you need to find what works for you. But, that's the other big thing, is just every now and again, just doing some cleaning, like putting your clothes on there before, taking pride in your stuff and respecting your environment. When you're in a clean environment, you wanna be in a clean headspace. It helps a lot just to stay focused and it's one of those things, just having gratitude and respect for 
the things that you own, the place that you live. Alexa, off. They're probably one of the biggest ones. No social media before, probably for me, half eight, but definitely the first hour. I think anything that you put through your head during that first hour, you're super vulnerable. Especially if you see negative stuff on social media as well, it's never gonna be good for you. So one of the big key rules for me is stay off social media because in the morning, you're essentially, you want to sharpen the pencil for the day and put yourself in the best position possible. If you're seeing negative news or negative social media stuff, it's never gonna leave you in a positive place. In fact, one of the big things that I do is I'll just leave it on sleep mode. So where you have that little button, do not disturb, I'll leave it on that until I wanna do anything, email, social media, work, speak to people. The next part of my power hour in the morning will be starting to get some bits of work done. And I know not everyone has work to do in the morning. So what I would tend to suggest doing is getting the shit done that you don't really wanna do in the day. First thing, this is kind of like eating the frog. And this is a book, which is by Brian Tracy, which talks about getting the things that essentially that are important to you or you don't wanna do done first and get them over and done with when motivation's higher, especially coming off the back of those morning improvements that we'll call them where you're going to be sharpening the pencil put yourself in a better psychological and mental state to be able to deal with tasks that you don't wish to really do but remember i'm still fasted so what that means is just don't eat breakfast that's as simple as it is and the reason for that is it just helps me keep focused you don't have to make breakfast in the morning and you don't have to stick to societal norms if you're not hungry don't fucking eat Plus, I'm one of those people who will definitely chunder or do deadlifts at like 9am in the morning. So it's not for fat loss, it's not for weight loss, it's just for productivity so that I don't spew all over my nikes. So I'm still generally eating probably about between 11am and 12 and still being cautious of what I eat. So in the, my breakfast in the morning at the moment, I try and slot some of it in. It's pretty much just eggs and bacon. And that's because I have to take the, the daily goat ball out, which has been somewhat of a tragedy. But it's massively helped with my stomach. I think oats is one of the big things that was kicking off my IBS. So yeah, I'm not I'm not one of these fasting zealots. I was gonna tell you, it's a fucking key to weight loss or life longevity. It's just breakfast, break your fast, do it whenever you wanna do it. That was all morning power hour done. It doesn't have to be super complicated. It doesn't have to be all this fardy dog meditating, levitating bullshit, which is gonna make your morning seem so long. You can never do it. Just keep it simple, keep it basic. Do something that you enjoy, you can stick to, and that sets you up for the day. Just off to the gym now, sipping on some my protein pre. This one is the strawberry laces. I'll leave the link below. Discount code my coach Benji. Oh, strawberry lace one is so good. I'm not even just saying that is so good. Tastes unbelievable. That's a new Nootropics one. And I've only just started taking pre again because of my stomach and my IBS and the caffeine didn't sit well, but that one seems to be okay. So check it out. Strawberry laces, insane. Always been a morning trainer, always will be because I'm lazy and it'll stop me from skipping the gym later on. Not everyone can train in the morning, I understand that, but I like to get an hour in, get it done, get that endorphin release, set me up for the day and then bang into the tasks if you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed the morning routine try and implement some of the things see how it goes you can pick some things throw some things away build your own toolbox if you enjoyed it like the video subscribe if you're not already i'll catch you next one Ooh.